Hey there, health junkies. Have you been keeping up on your vitamin D intake? I know, it's a weird question, but vitamin D absorbs calcium in order to maintain strong bones, so it's safe to say that it's important. A vitamin D deficiency has several factors to blame. These include diet, age, and lack of sun exposure. Guess what? Today, we'll be talking about signs that your body needs vitamin D. From fatigue to loss of hair to a wound taking way long to heal, we're talking about all that and more. Number 1. Fatigue When your body hasn't been getting proper vitamin D treatment, one of the things you'll notice is how tired you are. Have you been fighting the urge to fall asleep all day? Even if you had the proper amount of snooze time the night before? Well, a vitamin D deficiency may be the situation here. Known in the medical world as hypovitaminosis D, a lack of this nutrient brings on quite a few health issues. Having little to no energy is not a good place to start. People who go to the doctor reporting chronic fatigue are often found to have a vitamin D deficiency. They're usually placed on some sort of supplement in order to get their energy levels back to normal. In one particular case, a woman's vitamin D level increased by 39 nanograms per milliliter, curing her of her symptoms. You see, the lack of blood vessels in your body will cause fatigue. If you continue on without vitamin D, this can affect your mood and attitude, which brings us to our second telltale sign. Number 2. Depression to put it bluntly, a vitamin D deficiency can make you feel like garbage. It's true. The sad part is we all go through it. This is why we need proper vitamins. Vitamin D not only provides your bones with calcium, it performs other crucial functions. You see, vitamin D is needed in order for our brain to work properly. A 2005 study conducted on the human brain revealed that vitamin D receptors are found in the same part of the brain associated with depression. While people of any age are vulnerable to depression, it's particularly prevalent in older people. Elderly adults who experience depression later in life are usually found to have a vitamin D deficiency. This is particularly true for seasonal depression, especially in the wintertime where some people fall to their lowest emotional point. Studies have indicated that supplying depressed people with vitamin D3 can help cure them of this mental illness. By the way, Many of you are probably wondering just how much vitamin D you actually need in order to function. Well, this obviously varies due to your age. If you're an adult between the years of 19 and 70, it's best to have 600 IU. That's international units. The same amount goes for pregnant women. If you happen to be over the age of 70, 800 IU is suggested. Number 3. Loss of Bone while this is a natural part of the aging process, it's not supposed to happen in your younger years. If it does, check your vitamin D level. It's vitamin D's job to absorb calcium and maintain the strength of your bones. When your bone density is low, you're not receiving the right amount of calcium. This is something else the elderly need to look out for, as they're more prone to bone loss as years pass. A study from 2015 conducted on menopausal women showed the link between low bone mineral density and low vitamin D. You can maintain healthy bone density by getting the right vitamin D and keeping track of your blood pressure. Foods that carry high vitamin D include tuna, salmon, mackerel, egg yolk, cheese, and orange juice. If you're growing concerned, you'll want to consult a doctor. Number 4. Loss of Hair First my bones, now my hairdo! If you're young, there are few situations more humiliating than losing your hair. That's just the way things go when your vitamin D is low. While there is limited evidence, lack of nutrient has been connected with hair loss, particularly female hair loss. Vitamin D assists in creating new hair follicles. When your level is insufficient, the follicles will not have enough strength and eventually fall out. Alopecia areata is another factor that needs to be mentioned. This is a disorder that causes your hair to fall out in random patches. People suffering from alopecia have been found to have much less vitamin D in their systems than people without it. Number 5. Your wounds take longer to heal Is your cut not healing as quickly as it once did? Well, you better make sure you're on top of your vitamin D. Imagine having a wound that just doesn't stop bleeding. This is a reality for those with vitamin D deficiency. One that'll have you scarfing down cheese and salmon in order to avoid the ailment. In a 2012 study, patients who suffered from leg ulcers were found to have higher vitamin D deficiency. When you injure yourself, your body requires a balance of different nutrients in order to repair. This is no different for a cut or a scrape. Vitamin D is crucial in the wound healing process. 
Your skin cells depend on its control of genes that create catholicidin, which your immune system has to help fight off infections and heal. A slow healing wound must see treatment quickly in order to avoid becoming infected. With infection comes a whole new set of issues to deal with. Before we continue, are you concerned with the overall health of your child? Perhaps you should check out health symptoms in children that may indicate a more serious disease. Or, if you'd like information on how to have a better quality sleep, click on our clip discussing simple techniques to fall asleep in five minutes. Now, let's continue with our list of signs your body needs vitamin D. Number six, you're feeling sick. Remember when I mentioned how lack of vitamin D can make you feel like garbage? Well, depression's just the tip of the iceberg. You can also feel like garbage physically. I don't know about you, but being depressed and sick at once isn't my idea of a good time. People who catch colds on a regular basis would be wise to look into their vitamin D level. This could be the reason why you're so prone to sickness. One of the main sources of vitamin D is sunlight. Were you aware that the highest levels of vitamin D comes in the summer? This is due to the amount of time we spend catching rays outside. The exact opposite can be said during the winter, when the weather is cloudy and miserable. This is where you're vulnerable to colds and flus. Within this time, your immune system needs to be in tip-top shape. Your body must have all the defenses it can against germs and bacteria. Vitamin D can serve as a powerful weapon. If you're experiencing hypovitaminosis D, chances are your immune system isn't where it should be. This is because there's no vitamin D around to assist it. Studies have indicated that those with a respiratory tract infection are likely to have vitamin deficiencies. We're talking about severe ones, such as pneumonia and bronchitis. Number seven, pain in your bones. As if losing bone wasn't enough, we've all experienced moments where our bones ache. Some are much worse than others, but if your vitamin D is low, you may experience this much more frequently. Since vitamin D strengthens your bones through calcium, it's pretty much a given that they'll be in pain if you're lacking the nutrient. You should be especially careful of pain in your lower back. This is where it can hit the hardest. If you work a job where physical labor is needed, this will be a problem. Several controlled studies have noted that chronic lower back pain can be fueled by our lack of vitamin D. One study from 2015 focused on Indian patients with chronic lower back pain. They linked their pain to hypovitaminosis D. Number eight, high blood pressure. Has your blood pressure spiked recently? Are you looking for a reason? Take your pick. There are countless factors that contribute to hypertension. One you may not have considered is a vitamin D deficiency. High blood pressure can lead to other health problems such as cardiovascular and heart disease. While the jury's still out, some studies have pointed towards vitamin D being a contributor to these illnesses. One conducted back in 2017 shows that the nutrient does in fact have an influence on our blood pressure. Those who do suffer from hypertension are smart to have their vitamin D levels checked in case there's a direct link between high blood pressure and vitamin D. Have you been getting the proper vitamin D? Are you going to make sure after watching this video? Let us know in the comment section below. Love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait! What kind of bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.